It's 5 p.m. on Wednesday now. So why did we finish work early today? Because we're heading to a place we have been waiting to go for a long time. But today, we are going to Torishiki, the best mm -hmm. yakitori restaurant in the entire world. Mm -hmm. So let's see if it lives up to the hype. Torishiki is located right by Megara Station and has accumulated countless culinary awards over the years, including one Michelin star, and year over year, it earns the Tabula Gold Award, which is awarded to the top 32 restaurants in all of Japan. The one thing you may have heard about this place is how hard it is to get a reservation here. So I literally booked this place two and a half months in advance for tonight's reservation. On the first business day of every month, they open up the reservations at 5 p.m. sharp. And so on that day, I literally had two phones and literally was calling nonstop for two and a half, three hours until I finally connected to them and finally made the reservation for tonight. So, it's first day today. Yeah. Happy birthday. I hope it was worth all that effort to get this reservation because as far as I know, they don't have any other way to make a reservation here. This is the omakase restaurant. It means that you don't ask them, you don't order, but like leave it to them to decide your menu. So you have to ask them to stop to stop. Otherwise, they will keep serving you different dishes. No alcohol. We're still during the emergency declaration right now, so no alcohol, and we have to stick to the soft drinks for tonight. Last skewer. We just finished our amazing dinner at Torishiki and wanted to share some closing thoughts. First of all, the restaurant reminds me of a high-end style sushi restaurant where all the guests are seated around the chefs and can watch him cook. In our case, we all sat around Ikigawa-san and watched him work his craft. And I actually found that process really mesmerizing. And for a majority of the meal, I was just watching him cook each individual skewer, season the skewers, and even adjust the fire and charcoal from time to time. For each individual of those skewers, they were all super tasty, super juicy. The seasoning was just right, not too salty, not under seasoned. And you can taste just how well the chef has mastered his craft of cooking yakitori. Since it was omakase and we were supposed to tell them to stop, we actually weren't sure when to tell them to stop because we actually wanted to try all the skewers. Actually, once you tell them you're done eating, they'll actually prepare one final dish for you. And so for us, we ended up choosing the oyakodon as our final dish which was also super delicious. All in all, our meal ended up taking just under about three hours. And we can confidently say that this was the best yakitori meal we ever had in our life. The waiters were always super attentive to us, constantly replacing our towels or giving us new plates. And as for the price, whether this was worth it or not, 
it ended up being 23,000 yen for the two of us. And so in my opinion, for a Michelin star experience, for one of the best restaurants in Japan, it definitely is worth the price. However, the biggest thing about this restaurant is ultimately, can you get a reservation? If you can't get one, one tip I have is that they actually offer bento boxes, which you can order the day of starting at 12 p.m. each day, which you can then pick up around dinner time. Even though the bento boxes may not include the full yakitori experience, but at the very least, you'll be able to taste the chicken cooked by Japan's yakitori master.